communities that have greater uh, socioeconomic barriers may be greater impacted by this. If you already have barriers to access to internet, um, and there's there's you know an elite lane and a and a slow lane, uh, it creates I think further divide in access and utilization to these resources. Eastman works at On Point for College, a not-for-profit organization that helps students get in college and find jobs. The organization's halls are filled with stories of success of past students, but Eastman believes a change in net neutrality laws will slow down the organization's success. We have computers that aren't um, aren't the fastest to begin with. So once you slow down the internet even more, it creates even more of a, a lag time to get stuff done and, and a frustration for students and, and staff. Some economists are expecting the cost of using the internet and the speed of the internet to be impacted by the repeal. While the FCC denies these changes, some people are wondering what is net neutrality and why is the FCC repealing it now? The idea was should everyone have equal access and pay the same basic rates to the internet service providers? Or should some of the content providers be able to charge different prices to different users? Though many people are worried about the negative aspects of the repeal, the FCC is anticipating a positive outcome. They argue that that will lead to more innovation. If there's profits out there, we'll get a better product. Blackley is unsure if the repeal will lead to better internet service. Like many consumers, he questions the true motives of the FCC. Is it really just an attempt by the uh, carriers to increase their profits?